All righty then, of course, Spain football right here, right now. We're live in Skipton Castle. Of course, Girona still top the table, but can Real Madrid and Barcelona catch up? We're going to take a little look. We're cold and it's next. That's right, folks, back with a prediction video. Today, we're taking a look at match day number, I think it's 18, over in Spain. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe button. I'm back to your fun, most isolated, Spanish football related, wife related. We've got all here, boys, under one rooski. Of course, Girona still flying high at the top of the table. But can they be caught? Linda was with me. Hello. That's right. And she can have a crack at these predictions for me uh, right here right now. It's going to be a short, sharp show here. No stats, no nothing, no super brew. But make sure you keep on your predictions in the super brew. But before that, recap the results. Let's get into it. So, Osasuna, big 1-0 winners over Raya Vallecano, of course. Uh, so, a big win for them. Vigo also a big win for uh, Benitez against Granada. 1-0 final score last round. Bilbao against Madrid. Big home win for Bilbao. Uh, of course, against one of the, the juggernauts of uh, Spanish football. Sevilla lost to Getafe. Greenwood kicking us and taking in. 3-0 it was. Final score, Valencia and Barcelona, 1-1 one, one draw. Of course, monster result for Valencia. Barcelona taking a bit of a backward step there. Almira, bottom of the table there. Uh, of course, nil-nil draw against Mallorca. Sociedad Marbois uh, took a draw against uh, Betis. Not too shabby there. Las Palmas with a draw against Cadiz. Real Madrid, big 4-1 winners of a, a big battle of Breton Diaz, Villarreal. And of course, Girona, keep on keeping on. 3 nil win over Alaves, of course. The table may on, may not be on the screen right now, but of course, we are in the middle of, of Skipped and it's cold and it's late. The sun, the sun is coming down. And of course, we're going to get into the next round again. Games, which means match number 18. So here we go. So my wife, I gonna go into this. Let's get into it. Real Vallecano against Valencia, of course. Again, I, uh, my um, my screenshot is pretty shitty. Vallecano without a win in the last six up against the Valencia side, who are I think around about 10th of the table. Again, just one win in six. Uh, so coming into this, both sides needing a victory. Linda, home or away? Zero one. Zero one. So I'm read. I'm gonna put that in as you say it. So zero one yes. means a home win here. Again, it's a tight one. Could go either way. I'm gonna go with a one one draw in this one. Uh, Alicano taking a point on this one. Get, uh, next up, Getafe with, the, with the, 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 the scabby little Mason Greenwood. We don't like him. Up against, of course, Atletico Madrid, who are in fourth in the table. So Atletico Madrid uh, singing high in fourth. Not the greatest results of, of late. Three wins, three defeats of, the, uh, of, the, of recent games. Up against Getafe, who are doing all right, though, with, of course, the troublemaker. Just one defeat the last six games, of course. But if you were a betting lady, which way would you go? Hmm, zero... Actually, 2-0. Two, 2-0, zero. Two, zero. that's the way to do it. Back in the Atletico Madrid, of course, that's the, that's the way to go. Also, back in the, the same, I'm going to go 3-1 win. Of course, Atletico at home shouldn't lose these kind of games. Kicking on forward, Granada. Uh, not, the, not, the, not, the, not, the, not Girona, but Granada struggling a little bit. According to my eyes, I think they're in the bottom end of the table. I can't really see my... I got a, a really bad... Oh, it's a chill. Chill comes down the spine here in, in Skipton Castle. But up, they're up against Sevilla. Not the greatest season for them right now. Uh, so, could go either way. Linda, which way are you going to go on this? Granada, mm, Sevilla. I'm going to go... 0-1 zero, one. Zero, one for the away side picking up a big three points me more for me uh, looking at the table again Sevilla not having the best of seasons I think uh, am I reading that right are they down there into 17th spot uh, I think they are both sides really struggling for four and it could go either way but and realistically it should be an away win 2-1 win for Sevilla to take the points on this one kicking it forward again I've got no stats got no, no odds no nothing so we're going to go with our gut here and our gut is Barcelona against Almira Almira are struggling they're in the bottom of the table Barcelona are flying high in third in the table realistically Mathematically, logically, there's only one winner here. Linda? 4-0. Four, 4-0, zero. Four, zero, that's right. She knows the deal. Back in, of course, Barcelona. They haven't got Messi these days, but of course, they're still a monster team and, of course, a real threat for the title. So, going to back them in the same. Going to go 3-0 win. Uh, but, of course, she might be right, might be wrong. We'll see next time around. Uh, kicking off forward, it's Bilbao against Las Palmas. Big win for Bilbao. Up to fifth in the table. Up against Las Palmas now, who are in eighth. Of course, just one defeat in the last six for Las Palmas. Up against Bilbao, who, of course, haven't lost in at least the last six games. Tight one could go either way, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to just go first on this one. 2-1 win uh, mm -hmm. for uh, the hosts here, Bilbao. What are you thinking, Linda? I'm going to say 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. She's going to go a little bit different to me and go with a 1-1 one, one draw. Villarreal, though, kicking off forward against Celta Vigo. Of course, Benita, uh, big bad boy, Burton Diaz has not really had the best of luck since he's been over there. I don't think he's scored yet. I've got Celta Vigo and Benitez, of course. Uh, if we're looking at the table, Villarreal, oh, I don't even know. They're down into 13th right now. Celta Vigo in the drop zone still, but could get a, a good result here. Linda? 1-3. One, 1-3. Three. One, three. Uh, she likes the, the weird away scores, but we'll go with it anyway. Going to go with with a 2-0 win back in Villarreal they should be better than, than, than what they are but of course right now they're not looking, not looking too good kicking off forward is Real Betis up against Girona who are flying high Betis though are a team that could cause some problems especially 
at home. Betis without a loss in the last six. However, just one win in five. A lot of draws knocking around for Rio. Betis up against Girona, winning five of the last six. Which way? Are you going to back the current leaders or are you going to go with the... Uh, I'm going to go 1-2. One, 1-2. Two. One, two. She is sticking with Girona. I'm going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw. I think Girona can keep this momentum going, but they might trick up a little bit here. So we'll see. Meanwhile, Cadiz, of course, also struggling a little bit down to... 15th, I think, or 16th at the table. I against mean, my boys, we're still just outside the European spots, I believe, into uh, six right now. However, without a loss in the last five. So doing, doing good, but need more wins than draws. Um, Linda, are you going to back the host or are you going to back the away side here? Let's go 0-2. 0-2, two. Two, stick with Sociedad. That's the way they keep it going. I'm going to go 0-1. A 1-0 for Sociedad. Big away win for them. And of course, keeping on forward and hopefully get the result. And then the same. Alaves, I'm against Real Madrid. Real Madrid are second right now. Of course, two points off of top spot. I'm against the Alaves side, who are probably struggling again can't really read too much into this graphic here but uh, 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 you would realistically fancy Real Madrid again for four wins the last five through into the Champions League knockout stages up against the Alaves side who are struggling Linda home or away 0-3 no, 0-3 back in Real Madrid again back in the away side she's got a lot of record here back in the away side I'm also going to go with a uh, uh, a two 0 win for for Madrid on this one to take the points and again move the chains again close in on Girona who will actually that would put potentially put Real Madrid top spot with the draw for Girona anyway Mallorca I guess so it's the final one here as we of course try to get inside and get a little bit of warmth Mallorca uh, who are in uh, I think around about mid table somewhere uh, up against us as soon as I also doing all right in the table Linda which way are you gonna go let's go uh, two, one. two one back in the home side here Mallorca again I'm gonna go with a two uh, that's a three three nil win for the home side here of course which will of course do uh, wonders for them and their season we are just excited to get these videos done get inside get a bit of warmth but of course there's still more to be done where they're gonna be we'll see but until then subscribe we're out